Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrummy Quick Designs, and today I'm going to show you how we're going to make these adorable snowmen from these tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree. It's going to be easy and fun. So you'll need one box of these. They have, there's 72 blocks in them. They're only a dollar, a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. And um, you're gonna need one box and we're gonna make four of these snowmen with the one box. Now these are little wooden blocks. Okay, that's what they're gonna look like. And you there's other brands of these. So you could make the same thing, but your blocks may look slightly different. Um, than our finished product, but the same principle will apply, okay? So you're going to need uh, one box of the blocks. You're going to need some white acrylic paint, some black acrylic paint, a paper plate is what I recommend, and a foam brush to paint. And we will need some vinyl to cut out the face. So this is just black Cricut uh, vinyl that I cut out and some transfer tape. And then you're going to need, I use four different shades of blue cardstock because I did each of the snow letters in a different uh, blue. But uh, this is an image that I'll link up in the description of the video to tell you what font this is that I cut these out at and the size. And then you're going to have, so you're going to have one for each letter, S-N-O-W, and some foam dots that we're going to put on the back. So you'll need that. and. I added a little glitter snowflake that I cut out with my Cricut and this, I'm just gonna use a glue pen to glue that on, all right. And I decided to decorate the hat. So I made some holly with some berries on it to put on the hat. Um, this is all cut with my Cricut and I'll link up where, where these images came from. And of course the snowman would not be complete without his carrot nose. So I did my carrot nose out of orange cardstock. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with here. And let's get started. I'll show you how easy this is going to be to assemble. All right, so you've got your, your blocks. Now, you're going to get your blocks out. And what we're creating is we're going to create the base of the snowman, which is three rows of four blocks. Okay, that's all it is. So it's 12 blocks total for the base of the snowman. For the body and so you're going to line up four of the blocks just like this and then we're going to glue the sides together so you'll need your hot glue gun and you can use liquid glue if you want i just like the instant gratification that it dries instantly so we're going to do that and then you're just going to shove two blocks together and guess what you're going to do the same thing we're just going to glue these together just like this Okay, and I'm just putting some pressure on them to hold them together just a little bit, lining them up as best I can, top to bottom and side to side. Okay. All right, so you're gonna do, you're gonna have a block of these, a set of these rather. You're gonna make one, two, three of these for the body. Once you have the three made, then you're just going to glue the tops of them and glue them together so that you end up with this shape here. Okay. Once this is put together, then you're just going to take your acrylic paint and your paintbrush and you're going to paint this front, back, and on the sides. Really easy not hard to do. You may, uh, depending upon the acrylic paint that you're using, this one is just one I got at uh, Michael's. Um, you may want to put a couple of coats on it to make sure that it looks, you know, white. I kind of like seeing the wood grain through mine. So mine's, I probably just put two coats on this, but you want to do that and you want to set that off to the side and let it dry once you get those done. Okay. Now to make the hats, we're going to take we're going to make the hat brim and we're going to make the top of the hat. All right. For those, you're going to take two of the blocks and we're going to glue them end to end like this. Okay. So they're going to be glued end to end like this. Okay. So we're just going to glue these end to end. Okay. 
Okay, and that's going to create your brim of your hat. So, and you'll, if you get any seepage of the hot glue, just let it cool off and just, I just take my finger or you can take a, a scraper tool or something and just get any of the excess glue off, okay? And then once you have that done, then you're gonna just put two blocks together and you're gonna glue them side by side, kind of like what we did here, okay? You're just gonna make two or you're gonna make a stack of two, a stack of three and a stack of four and that's gonna be the tops of our hats. So let's let's build the hat now. Now we've got the body built and painted, and then you're going to build the body of the hat. Okay, build the hat, and you're going to have these two put together, like we did here. Now I like to go ahead and paint mine first. So I built this, then I painted it black and I let it dry. Once it dried, then I've got this. Okay, and I didn't. I painted the end, the edges, make sure you get the edges because you'll see that. Um, but I didn't have to paint the middle because that's going to glue on the top. And then this one, I also painted sides, top, around the back, but I didn't have to paint the bottom because this is going to glue on here like this. We're going to add the two, the stack of two or three, depending upon the size of the hat that you're making, will go glued on top of the brim of your hat. So let's do that real quick. And I'm just going to glue it and stick it in the center of those two blocks, just like that. Okay, and I'll hold it on here just to make sure the glue dries really good. So basically, it's stack the blocks, glue them together, then paint the, then paint the whole set, and then you're going to start assembling your snowman. Okay, so here's a hat. Now, some of the hats I added an extra block to it so that then it was taller and then there's even one where I added this one I added four blocks stacked to make it a little bit better you'll see this in a minute when we put it all together the other thing you want to do is you're going to take two of the blocks and you're going to glue them together on top of each other like this okay you're going to glue them together like this so I'm just going to glue these right here Stack them on top of each other, and I'm going to paint this white. This is going to become the stand that goes on the back of my snowman so that it'll stand up. We have our body of our snowman, we have the hat for our snowman, and we have the stand for the snowman. Now let's decorate the snowman. So um, the first thing you want to do is you will get your Cricut vinyl and you'll cut out whatever snowman face you want to have on it. Mine are all slightly different. Okay, so see how I kind of changed them up? You can use the same snowman face if you want. I will link up the snowman faces that I used for what I made. There's a bunch of different ones uh, that you can find online to use. And I just then cut that out of black vinyl with my Cricut and then weeded it away. So I had this images there and then we end up with the face so with this we're going to need our scraper tool and some transfer tape and we're going to do this and I find decorating the body first is easier and then I add the hat and the stand to it so that's why we haven't done that and my glue gun is still sitting here Okay, so we're just going to transfer the vinyl onto the transfer tape. You want to make sure that your block is completely dry after you painted it before you go to add the face to it. Okay, so just make sure it's dry. Um, and then you want to just put your face on. And you want to burnish down pretty well on the wood. So you'll just make sure that you've got the image on. Okay, so there is his face. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of the hot glue here. Let's 
to, to glue his nose down like that. And then for this, this is the, the snow letter, it's going to go on the bottom here. And what I did was I put uh, four foam dots on the back of it because I wanted it to be raised just a little bit. So I've stuck the four foam dots on the back. And then because this is going on the wood and I want to make sure that this holds up really well, I'm also going to add just a dollop of the hot glue onto the back. And then just press down where the dots are, okay? And then I have the glitter snowflake that I cut with my Cricut. And I'm just gonna use a glue pen. You can use whatever glue you want to stick it on. You see, he's coming along. He looks so great, doesn't he? Okay, so now that we've got the body put together and decorated, now we're going to add our top hat that we created. And let's see, we're going to add it right here on the top. So I'm going to put glue along the top edge of my snowman body. When you go to put this on, you want to make sure that the brim, the, the brim, and the top of your hat is lined up. Okay, so there is the snowman with his hat. And then I had cut some holly and some berries and glued those together. And then I'm gonna add this to my hat here. Holly always reminds me of winter. And then we have our snowman is completed, except we need to add the stand on the back. So you add, you put two of these blocks together and you painted it white because it's gonna go on the back just in case anyone sees it. And this is gonna get glued down here with like this. So it's, create, it's gonna create a stand for the back of your snowman. All right, so let's get that glued on. I'm just going to press it to the back and I'm lining up the bottom edge so that this helps create the stand and it will stand evenly. Okay, so there's the stand and now we have our snowman. Okay, so our first snowman is finished. You'll, cre you'll create four of these. Let me show you what, how I did mine. So I have used four different shades of blue for the lettering for the word snow. I'm gonna line mine up like this. E you'll notice each of them has four different faces. You wouldn't have to do that. You could have the same face on all of them if you want. Um, the hats I staggered. So this one has two, this one has three, this one has three, and this one I have four on just to add a little variety to them. But I hope you guys like the snowman as much as I do. It, we put our holiday decorations away and we're celebrating winter right now. So uh, this will be fun. I'll show you where I am displaying these in my home. And I hope you guys make these and have fun. Happy crafting.